Now let's clear up road to Stonewall. Pride of London canceled for second year in a row. Mm -hmm. Pride in London has been canceled for the second year in a row due to the UK's pandemic mitigation restrictions. The parade, which is the largest LGBTQ plus event in the country, had been set to take place on September 11th, 2021. But organizers called the events off on Friday, August 6th. In a video message posted on YouTube and shared on Twitter, Chris Joel DeShields, executive director of Pride in London, explained the reasonings behind the group's decision to cancel the parade. In the video, he said, Said, quote, I'm truly saddened to say that Pride in London won't be happening in person this year. Last week was extremely challenging navigating the government's recently updated COVID-19 guidelines and legislation for large-scale public events like ours, end quote. Ending the message, jo Joelle DeShields asked supporters to visit queer-owned venues and support LGBTQ plus artists and performers. Another COVID casualty. Another COVID casualty. Look and understand that in London, 75% of all adults over 18 are vaccinated. 75%. Wow. Okay, wow. we are way behind. And they're taking these extreme measures mm -hmm. to take off pride. And they have to because it's they're spiking. You know, people are getting sick again. You know, and this is not a pride like here that we get 200,000 people. London pride gets 1.5 million people yeah. at their pride. So they can't take the chance. Right. I also think they're taking responsibility. You know, they're, they're being really responsible on the international stage because they do appreciate that this is not just mm -hmm. and you know and happening in london but happening in across across borders and like that i just realized that that would have been also the commemoration of the 20th uh, anniversary of 9 11. 9 11 exactly which is a powerful uh, do you, wow do you, when you hear the news we reported breaking live breaking news last week about space code for right yeah yes. cancel here in florida mm -hmm. when you hear uh, the news over the weekend about uh, what london is doing does it uh, do you worry about what we're going to see here in Florida? Right, because Miami's coming up and Fort Miami. Lauderdale, who knows? Orlando Pride is canceled too, I think, no? It wasn't and, and supposed to they, happen in they, September? They have not, no, in, in October. Uh, oh. Space Coast Pride uh, is the one that canceled. In oh, September. God, I thought it was Orlando. Uh, right now, Miami Beach or uh, in September, Orlando in October, mm. and Fort Lauderdale in November mm. are still on. They're still on. But they have to be watching uh, the news. They have to be. They're hoping that the numbers go up in vaccinations and they'll be able to mm -hmm. still go along with no problem. It, you know, it's so hope. interesting. Uh, the future is in our own hands. <laughs> yeah. It's in our own hands. One thing that I, 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 haven't, I haven't commented on this publicly. Um, when London in the spring uh, made the decision to uh, do the parade, they were one of the first in the world, the, the major, major. This is New oh, wow. York pride, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Miami Beach uh, pride um, uh, significance. Uh, we reached out from Queer News Tonight, we reached out to London. Uh, to do an interview and talk about their decision to have the parade. And uh, London was even hesitant. London Pride was even hesitant to publicly talk mm. about their decision of returning mm. for wow. the parade because they said basically uh, while we're committed to having the parade, we're very concerned about the optics of the decision making. Yeah. Um, and and we and now we know, know that they were right Absolutely. in yeah. terms yeah. of the it's optics. It's a lot. Yeah. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.